But when it comes to the departure from this earth, we don't always know that. And that is because everyone has a date, but God is the one who sets the date. Now, most importantly, I want us to understand and also share, God is the one who does that. And we all know, if you know God, he does not make mistakes. Now, one thing that I would like to really make clear and at least put some light to is the fact that while it was a definite surprise to each and every one of us on the 6th of August, 2020, when some of us got the calls, when some of us saw the emails, saw the information, Azue Muche is no longer here. There was a big cloud all across the nation, all across the world, places and people who knew Azue Muche. Now it was understood. Now one thing, God was not surprised by that. Has been attested to, and more people, if we have all of the 130 people who are here present with us now or more, ask something about Emuche. I don't think there is anyone amongst us who will have something negative. Now, he wasn't a perfect individual, but at least there wouldn't be any type of nature that will be a tainted picture. As you lived, God has a date for each individual. And that date doesn't come by, uh, you know, how well we're doing or how badly we're doing. But God is the one that set that uh, date. Now that question, why? God has the, why? He has the answer. Yeah. But the only thing is, none of us is going to be able to get the answer to that why until eternity. Now, when that news broke, when we found out, Okay, Emuche, from what we gathered, was the last one with Azuike Emuche. And on the next day, okay, Emuche happened to be the first one to see him in his new state. Now, if Azu had any inclination, because it's clear that at least from all we can gather, from all we know, Azu did not have any health issues that any one of us was aware of. Well, we could have said, well, okay, well, he tried, he fought the fight, and he finally gave up. But that wasn't the case. Because on that night with okay, his brother, he never knew what was going to happen next. Okay himself never knew what was going to happen next. Otherwise, there would have been something slightly done differently by them. But God is the ultimate God, and we cannot question him. But one thing that we have to understand is Azue Muche is in the heavenlies right now. The soul, the real Azue Muche, is with the angels right now rejoicing and looking and of course, I'm sure just the way he was ecstatic and pleased and happy that he's been honored by his classmates and friends and family. And if he will look down, he will say, family, Kate, Chim, Mama, okay, all the brothers and sisters, do not mourn for me. Do not cry for me. I am well, I am doing okay, and I'm here holding spots for you until we get together again. Now think about Azuike Emuche. The physical contact that we used to have with him, Kate, Chim, Mama, and everybody else, and all of us, class of 72, and all, all the old boys, and all the other co colleagues and everybody else that Emuche has knew in his life, the physical aspect will no longer be there. But the key thing that we need to understand and realize is, Azue Emuche's journey in this earth will never be forgotten. 
why not? Kate is here. Jim is here. And that legacy of Azuk Emuche lives on. So all we have to do, each and every one of us, I implore all of us, this is a crucial time. Yes, we are doing this. Yes, all of this world will go forth and they will get it and we will all get it. We will understand it. But there will be times that physical nature, the times that we picked up the phone and called, the pick, he picked up the phone and called, texted, emailed, we will expect it and we will not see it. Then we have to make sure that we hold up the family. We hold up his wife. We hold up his daughter, his mother, and everybody else in our private and individual prayers. As at the age of 61, lived an exemplary life that most do not live in a lifetime. Kate, Chim, Mama, Emuche, family, and all that knew Azu will have the same story of a man who lived for the good of others and humanity in general. Azu fulfilled his mission in the earth and has transitioned to heaven to receive his crown of glory. Kate, Chim, God will not forsake you and Azu's legacy lives on in you. As Azu is rejoicing in heaven now with the angels, being the same Wazinga we all knew here, the same husband you knew here, the same father, the same son, the same brother, the same uncle, and waiting till we all meet again. Now the real Azul, the soul is in heaven. His body that is still here with us is the house that we live in. When I look at you, when you look at me, you're not looking at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm looking at the house that you live in. So we are all souls and live in a body. Our bodies are just the house we live in. Now, Azur's baby sister wrote what I call a poem. And this is the way Dr. Chichi Waje described her loving brother. She said, Azur was one who lived life blessing, given and loving others. He lived a very organized and orderly life with an amazing grace. She indicated that Azu was a blessing, blessed assurance that enriched the Emuche family members' lives because he always gave his best. And of course, from some of the eulogies we've just heard, and if we asked more people to speak, that would just take place in a few minutes from here. Everybody will have different stories that they will tell about Azue Muche. And that is what we have to remember. That, that is what we need to embrace. Yes, that physical as aspect is not there and it's not going to be there anymore, but we do not have to forget that Emuche passed this earth is known and it's clear. Now, I remember one of our classmates sharing with me, of course, in 76, after we all left government college, we all went different ways. Of course, I found out a few years later, uh, recently, that most of us still kept contact with each other. Most of us didn't, but now we reconnected as if we never lost touch. And this classmate shared with me the fact that Azue Muche, of course, we all understood in government college and then after we left and those who kept up and like uh, Ndu just mentioned, Azue Muche was the type of person 
who never allowed one to outdo him. And we know from his athletic prowess and other things that he did academically. Now, this was mentioned when they will all go out. People come from out of the country or you meet him wherever you meet him and you go out to have some uh, food or drinks. Azoe Muche was the one who made sure he paid. It didn't matter how many people who were present at the table. He paid the bill. He will even fight you over the bill. 